I want to emphasize that the U.S. ignored China's statement and insisted on the use of force, which is obviously an overreaction. China firmly opposes the U.S. use of force. The U.S. should stop escalating tensions. China will make a necessary response. So I think the two major issues, what they really want to get and understand on, is、uh, the impact his so-called Blinken visit to China. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning says that that this is the visit announced by the U.S. side. China has never confirmed such visit, so there is no way of saying it's postponed or being impacted. The second of all is the、uh, how the two countries' bilateral relationship will develop in terms of or impacted by the incident.、Uh, the spokesperson said that this is an accident. That it's by out of control. That we we can't really get the ship back. But、uh, with that, the China side can really see how U.S. has responded to such crises. The world has seen one of most intense incidents in Sino-U.S. relations in the past week. The U.S. tracked a balloon flying over Montana. Since U.S. land-based ballistic missiles are deployed in Montana, the Pentagon suspects it's likely a spy balloon from China. Consequently, Secretary of State Blinken postponed his scheduled visit to China. Yaita Akio is the director of the newspaper Sankei Shimbun's Taipei branch. He said China's diplomatic strategy was usually, no matter what happens, never admit mistakes. However, after this incident, it can be seen that Xi's administration lacked a central axis and the handling was rather sloppy. The Japanese scholar wrote a commentary on his Facebook. First, he analyzed that after the 20th National Congress, the Xi Jinping regime worked hard to repair relations with the United States. The minister. Ministry of Foreign Affairs, now headed by Qin Gang, attaches great importance to the upcoming visit of Secretary of State Blinken to China. For the time being, it's uncertain whether the balloon was released on purpose or was indeed an accident. Akio wrote, but it is clear that some people on Xi Jinping's side are not very happy to see the improvement of U.S.-China relations. The appearance of the balloon in the American skies is seriously provocative, and the scholar thinks it's strange that China didn't restrain itself a little beforehand. On the second aspect, Akio wrote, whether it is intentional or unintentional, it is a fact that a Chinese observation balloon was discovered over the U.S., causing displeasure to the U.S. It's like if you're caught watching someone take a bath. Whether it's on purpose or accidentally, as long as the other person complains, it's human nature to apologize first. But during this process, the Chinese government accuses U.S. politicians of making a big fuss to smear China's reputation. According to Akio, it can only make others feel unreasonable. The current tough attitude of the Chinese government has escalated the confrontation. Finally, judging from China's diplomatic practice, it's essential for every department and diplomat to keep speaking the same voice when facing such an issue. Akio recalls this tactic is applied frequently during diplomatic events between Japan and.、China. China. He wrote, "I remember reporting on diplomatic events between China and Japan before, from the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Deputy Prime Minister. Everyone's speeches were verbatim." This time, the content of the statements from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the department spokesperson, and even Wang Yi are all different. Akio speculates that this presents the status quo of internal chaos. The scholar concludes that China's arrogance and dishonesty have damaged its international image. From now on, the U.S. might have an even tougher stance against China. And you could see the explosion. Uh, uh, didn't hear anything, but saw the explosion of the、uh, balloon. It's scary. I mean, it's a different way of spying on us. Let's put it that way. <laughs> 美国官方表示，气球在距离美国海岸约六海里的浅水域被击落，碎片打捞工作不会持续很久。回收的碎片将送至 FBI 在维吉尼亚州匡提科的实验室，交给 FBI 专家以及各情报单位进行分析。
。新唐人电视台记者徐哲、李明迪综合报道。Chinese experts warn of another virus affecting people on a vast scale and filling hospitals. We are talking about herpes zoster, also known as snake rash or shingles, according to the media Secret China. On February 1st, the Health and Welfare Commission of a city in Fujian province issued an alert about the sudden outbreak of this virus in patients who had contracted the new coronavirus. The report indicates that since Beijing ended the zero COVID policy, where all control and prevention measures against the coronavirus were abruptly relaxed, the new wave of infections has also brought more and more people affected with herpes zoster. Why is this happening? Let's see what Jiang Lianqi has to say. He is a chief physician at the Cutaneous Control Hospital, who has treated many people with sudden onset of shingles after contracting COVID. He said that the increase in cases would be directly related to the decrease in immunity caused by the new coronavirus, which causes the herpes zoster virus that lies dormant in the body to resurface. Indeed, herpes zoster is caused by a virus that remains lodged in the body of people who have contracted chickenpox at some point in their lives. That is to say, that after a child or young person is infected with the chickenpox virus, it will then remain latent in their glands, and when that person's immunity weakens, the virus can reactivate to form herpes zoster. It is more frequent in people over 50 years of age. This virus not only causes skin damage but can also generate pain so intense that it is said to compare to that caused by childbirth. A recent preliminary study reported in the journal Nature provides the first clues to this link between long-lasting COVID, also called prolonged COVID or long COVID, and shingles. The study used 99 patients with prolonged COVID and 40 control participants and was published in MedRxiv. Recall that long COVID is a syndrome that persists for months or even years after being infected with the coronavirus. But herpes zoster is not the only ailment left by COVID. There have been reported cases of viral myocarditis with high mortality rates, encephalitis, and liver failure. In fact, according to Secret China, Fuzhou News reported on January 31st that the Mengchao Hepobiliary Hospital in Fujian Medical University has been treating several patients with liver failure in recent days who had an underlying disease but developed liver failure within a month of contracting the new coronavirus. Numerous videos on social networks show how hospitals are overflowing, and the countless information that has flooded the internet about the after effects caused by COVID suggests that the pandemic is far from over in China. And it is not only causing the after effects as mentioned earlier, but also many deaths concealed by the regime, which continues to give false figures. We urge WHO to be fully inclusive of all partners, including Taiwan, and support Taiwan's participation as observers to the WHA. 世界卫生组织第一百五十二届执委会会议一月三十日至二月七日举行，期间友邦与友好国家相继挺台发声，引来中共答辩抗议。对此，美国与日本其他代表当场言辞反驳。In response to Chinese delegate remarks, there should be no geographical vacuum in addressing challenges of global health. This includes regions such as Taiwan that have taken effective measures against COVID-19. 美国国务院国际组织全球卫生小组组长德罗莎朱王也批评中共孤立台湾，强调美国将一贯支持台湾的国际参与，包括世界卫生组织。Denying Taiwan's voice, experience, and technical expertise by isolating it from the global health community in the midst of a pandemic would deny the lessons learned to other countries. The United States will continue its long-standing policy of supporting the meaningful participation of Taiwan. WHO 执委会由三十四国组成，自会议首日开始，与会国海地、巴拉圭、马绍尔、斯瓦蒂尼、诺鲁等我国友邦，也都在不同议程中以发言和书面声明方式为台湾参与发声。新唐亚太电视，唐杰安整理报道。高空中白色大气球遭划破，气球下方的设备也发出火光。美军 F 2 2战斗机美东时间周六下午两点三十九分，在南卡罗来纳州沿海上方发射一枚响尾蛇超音速热追踪空对空飞弹，击落进入美国领空的中共间谍气球。南卡罗来纳州当地居民目击击落气球的全过程，表示美军早应该击落气球。And you could see the explosion. Uh, uh, didn't hear anything, but saw the explosion of the、uh, balloon. It's scary. 
I mean, it's a different way of spying on us. Let's put it that way. 为何用飞弹打间谍气球？富比士报道指出，平流层内的巨大气球对现有武器具有很强的抵抗力。一般人可能认为，只要戳破气球，它就会爆开落下。但是这种长达二十七点四公尺，相当于三辆巴士的巨大气球，内部填充大量氦气，气球材质采用具有高度弹性的乳胶或其他物质制成，厚度约有三明治厚度，内外压力差小。如果发射机枪，顶多就是在气球上开几个洞，无法释出足够的氦气。让气球坠落。除了 F 二十二，美军还出动战机和加油机支援。当局在气球所在位置方圆一百公里实施海空净空。气球在距离美国海岸约六海里的浅水域被击落。美国军方官员表示，气球残片散落的范围长达十一公里，坠落地点有两艘美国海军军舰，其中一艘配备用于打捞残骸的重型起重机。回收的碎片将送至 FBI， 交给专家以及各情报单位进行分析。新唐人电视台记者徐哲、林明迪综合报道。